Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. So if you're on Windows 11, of course, you had a update for the Patch Tuesday updates. Uh, on this machine, the updates went well and, of course, took... This is a very fast gaming laptop, so I don't think it took more than maybe 10 minutes. Overall, if you count the download phase, the install phase, the restart, uh, it was really quick. The restart, it stayed at 4 minutes. I think it took 30 seconds. Uh, it's pretty fast to uh, to update this machine, actually. Uh, everything seems to be going well. And, uh, of course, if you're on the different versions of Windows, where are you? Well, if you're on 21H2, you had KB5019961. If you're on 22H2, you're on KB5019980. And you can see what version you have by going into the uh, settings and Windows Update, and see if the uh, in the update history if the uh, update was installed, which is of course here in my case five zero one nine nine eight zero. That was of course installed for today. Now um, this of course fixes the 68 security flaws in well not 68 in Windows but a lot in Windows and a lot of zero days in Windows also so it's very important to know that um, in the um, version that you might have of uh, Windows uh, going to of course Winver is going to give you the um, build number that you have so depending on the machine you have. So here, 22621.819 is the uh, bill number. And so this is uh, for, of course, the um, 22H2 uh, version of uh, Windows 10. Um, so 21H2, uh, you should have a different number, of course, because it's not like Windows 10 where the uh, updates are uh, really um, addressed differently. So um, hopefully that you will update and make sure that you stay safe, Windows 11 users. And it should be relatively fast in general, so uh, don't uh, don't worry about it. And make sure that you install. If you haven't, it could be longer for you if you install uh, with uh, the um, optional updates that you have not installed in October, if that's the case and you did not install the optional updates from October, it is possible that you will take a little longer to install these updates. Of course, it comes with other updates that I want to talk in a separate video because I had a lot of questions about what these updates were all about. So we're going to talk about it in a separate video here and uh, today so that people understand a little more what we have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.